Let me show you the RARAF accelerator and beam transport system. This is the terminal end of the accelerator that produces the charged particles used for the microbeam. The accelerator is contained in this large tank that is filled to over 5 atmospheres pressure with an insulating gas to inhibit sparking. Inside the terminal, positive ions of hydrogen or helium isotopes are produced in a plasma. The ions are extracted from the ion source and repelled by the positive charge in the terminal, which accelerates them as they move toward the other end of the accelerator. We are passing alongside the acceleration column that separates the high voltage terminal from the front end of the accelerator, which is at ground potential. The ions gain energy as they move through this tube. From the accelerator, the beam passes through a vacuum tube and is bent vertically upward by an electromagnet. The vacuum tube carries the beam through the 27 inch thick cement ceiling to the floor above where the microbeam irradiation system is located. Now let us look at the path of the ions in more detail. The ions exit here at the front of the accelerator with an energy determined by the terminal voltage and the charge on the ions. An ion formed from an atom with one electron removed would have an energy of 4 million electron volts, 4 MeV, when the terminal has a potential of 4 million volts. An atom with two electrons removed would have an energy of 8 MeV. The pressure in the beam tube is less than one billionth of an atmosphere so that the ions don't lose energy and are not scattered out of the beam as they are transported to the experiment station. At this point, the beam is about 30 millimeters in diameter. The ions move through the beam tube from the accelerator to a set of four adjustable slits. These slits, seen here at the right of center, are used to reduce the size of the beam in the vertical direction to about three-tenths of a millimeter. Narrowing the beam minimizes the variation in the angle of the ions entering the bending magnet in order to maintain an extremely precise beam energy. Just to the right of the slits is the main beam stop which can be inserted as a safety measure to physically interrupt the ion beam. The ions continue moving horizontally to the 90 degree bending electromagnet. Here the ion beam is directed vertically upward so that it proceeds toward the microbeam lab located directly above it. In addition, the magnet separates the different types of ions that are produced by the accelerator so that only the desired ions are transmitted. Just above the magnet is the adjustable aperture that reduces the beam diameter to 30 microns. This is the object that the microbeam lenses focus to produce the submicron beam spot. Between the bending magnet and the aperture is an electrostatic steerer used to deflect the ion beam very quickly when no more ions are required for the irradiation. The ion beam is focused by two electrostatic quadrupole triplets that form a compound lens. Each triplet consists of three sets of two positive and two negative electrodes with like charges in each set being opposite each other. The lenses are inside an alignment tube within the beam tube. The bottom of this alignment tube is located near the center of this view. The first triplet is near the bottom of the alignment tube. The second is located in the microbeam room above, just below the table on which the irradiation system is located.